Michaela, hang up right now. Tell them I was pranking you or something. Hang up. Why? Because if you tell the police, they're going to kill me or kill you. Please, Michaela, hang up. Holy shit. What did we just get ourselves into? Well, I met up here with this police officer and they took the phone inside and What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Rando Nautica video. It's really damn cold outside, oh my God. And I cannot believe I'm wearing a winter jacket this early into the year, it's crazy. But uh, um, yeah, the video that you guys are about to watch is absolutely insane. I'm gonna include clips from the past couple of days and nights of things that I've been through. I mean, we got abandoned buildings, we got wooded areas, we got cryptic messages, phones with weird shit on them. It's, it's a crazy video. And I wanna give you guys a big update. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, maybe even a month or so, I'm going to be filming alone. And the reason for that is because Chris has left the channel. Chris has went to go on and do his own thing in the world. And for the time being, he's going to be filming with CJ. So I'm going to be alone. Um, I really... Until I find somebody, to say the least. Um, luckily enough, my good friend Ben here uh, was very, very nice enough to come out and help me film tonight. Um, I had to film the past couple of nights. Next couple of nights coming from now um, alone. But... I'm super grateful to have someone with me because the things that I've just been through while I've been filming alone, uh, 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 <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, ben works crazy amounts of hours and he had a day off and he heard what happened and he reached out to me and said that he'd like to help me out in any possible way, which thank you, Ben. No problem. No You're problem. Amazing. So, and believe it or not, thanks to Ben, we actually cracked the code that was on the phone and, uh, it's not in my possession anymore. That's all I say. It's in law enforcement's hands. Whatever they do with it from here on forward is in their hands. Um, so with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel through everything. It's gonna be a little rough for these next couple weeks until I do find a, like a permanent, you know, somebody to help me, a new partner. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for just, you know, a camera person. I'm looking for a partner, a friend, all the sorts, because that's what we do here. And um, thank you in advance if you are in this area that I'm in and you would like to help out, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, I'm doing a massive PlayStation 5 giveaway. Yes. So I announced that in the last video. Basically, I said all you gotta do is like the video, comment anything down in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, and then share the video. That's it, you're entered. Uh, the winner for that will be announced November 3rd. And I'm gonna stop blabbering, and I'm gonna show you guys what's happened the past couple of nights, today, tonight. It's absolutely crazy. So, you ready, Ben? Absolutely. Let's get into this. Okay, so we're approaching our first location. Uh, ben actually picked out this intent. The first time Ben has ever picked out an intent at a secret society. You picked the very Absolutely. interesting one. <laughs> very, very interesting one. But um, I believe I've done this in the past. But I mean, I've done a lot of conspiracy ones. I Every time I use conspiracy, it usually works out. But I figured to do secret society because there's, there's quite a lot of them. There's a lot of shit going on in the world right nowadays too, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're brought to a school. Um, it's always fun. But our point like isn't at the school. It's in the woods, almost like in someone's backyard. So that's very, very fun. Um, let's go ahead and park the car and we'll see what we can do. I'll just park right here. Okay. It's literally 20 feet in front of us. So luckily we don't have to do too much walking. There you go. Right, let's roll. Yeah, what was that? What the fuck was that? 
That's where our point is. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, our point's literally right here, but that sounded like a... Like whistling coming from here. So secret society. I'd be very, very surprised if there was a secret society hidden in here. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty well. Yeah, I don't well, think there's any secret what is that society. Reflective thing right there. You see that? Yeah. Through the woods. There's a bunch of garbage here. That's literally the person's shed. <laughs> All right. Face mask. Come on. Sewage. Maybe they're underground. I don't know. You never. Or. Ah. That's a touchy one, I guess. The Book of Mormon. Another oh, testament of Jesus Christ. Wow, that's soaking wet. That's what she said. <laughs> so, the Church of. I'm not like I really am not trying to be ignorant, Ben, but like You heard that? Yeah. It did. Hello? It's just the wind. Yeah. So I'm I like I said, I'm not trying to be ignorant, but like I really, really don't know. Like, what is a Mormon? Uh, I know very little. I feel like if yeah. I speak on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't know too much. Okay. I. I... But like, hey, they seem cool. Stuff oh. in your. Oh, there's a lot of. Whoa. The restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a number on here and everything. Oh, there's a church name on here. Okay, this is like legit. They is... got a website. They got a, yeah. they got a Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we got some papers in here. Let's take a look. Um, check the back as well. Yeah, there's some papers in here for sure. Alright, well, cool beans. Um, hmm. I don't want to disrespect or anything. Sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, by moon. Or by sun. I shall be found, yet I am undone if there's no light around. Okay, first and foremost, I'm pretty sure that's a riddle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. By moon or by sun, I shall be found, yet I am undone if there's no light around. Yeah, it sounds like you'd say, what am I at the end, Yeah, what right? am I? Yeah. We're missing that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's a riddle I don't know. I thought I just saw somebody by that placebo back there. That little, the one that's lit up back there. Yeah. I could be wrong. All right, well, I don't, it's really weird. The, the rules in New York are super, where we live, it's like frowned upon if you're outside past like nine o'clock. It, it truly is like it's frowned upon. Like mm -hmm. people are like, "What the hell are you doing out so late?" And we're like, "Going for a late night walk or something." But realistically, in our area, if like you're on school property or whatever late at night, like you're in trouble. It's not a great look. No, it's a for some reason it's a really bad look. But after the riddle, there's a picture of this. Yeah, what? I have no idea. Like holy shit! And the back is creepy, even. Yeah, in the front and the back. <laughs> and in pretty. Oh, that's fun. I found one of these, um, I believe, in the... First, actually, guys, I'm going to say this. I keep like thinking I see or hear something from over there. I don't know. It's just my paranoia. Dude, if you, if you understood... Actually, if you guys understood what I went through two nights ago, you would understand exactly why I'm so paranoid. I went through absolute hell i was alone in an abandoned building i'm pretty sure i'll be in this video later on in the video scariest probably experience i've ever had in my entire life um so now i'm like super paranoid like i i went home that night and i like i got out the car to get into my house i, I thought i was hearing shit every but long story short um morse code i found this a couple like a week ago too 
I know it's Morse code, but I'm sorry, I don't speak Morse code. So if you guys can pause this, you know, screenshot it, whatever the fact be, and then let me know what it means down in the comment section below. I will uh, truly appreciate it. Clearly it's two-sided. There's an arrow at the bottom right. And the other side, well, literally the other side says two of two, but there's more right there. If you can let me know what that means down in the comment section below, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the second one says Charlie Hotel Echo. Charlie Kilo Uniform November Delta Echo Romeo Yankee Oscar. Uniform Romeo Charlie Alpha Romeo. Sick. So that's it. And then there's the Book of Mormon, which secret society. <laughs> I don't want to speak on it. I really don't because I don't know. I don't know what the Mormons are. I, I'm not trying to. I, I'm just not the most uh, religiously intelligent person there is yeah to say the least i, I guess that's a one way to put it but and that's the thing too with like religion like there's always like the extreme and then there's always like most people are casual so exactly and that's one thing like i'll never ever do on this channel is like speak upon religion speak upon politics because there's no need for that absolutely. especially in like a setting where there's thousands and thousands of people you know absolutely but when i simply don't know about anything i'll be honest i don't know absolutely which it makes sense because these pages they talk in uh what are these called like 54 oh, yeah. 11 and stuff yeah, yeah i've been finding uh verses bible verses mm -hmm. like i've been through a lot the past year ben but like i one thing i have come across a lot is cryptic messages different languages uh bible verses all the sorts and, yeah uh, yeah so i guess maybe i should keep this because if i do come across more bible verses i could use this for the future but yo we've been random noting all day for like six hours now and this is like the first the decent first thing, thing we've come across Absolutely. and um it, why is this at a school by the way yeah, weird setting <laughs> for a little book bit. of Mormon. <laughs> yeah, for the book of Mormon. A little bit, I'd say. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I guess I, I really, I'm gonna keep it with me just for the verses, and obviously I don't want this to be on the floor. I would rather this be in good hands for sure. Soaking wet though, but I'll wrap it in a blanket and call it a day. Uh, we probably should get out of here though because I don't know who's over there. I don't know what people's intentions are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right. Um, we'll see you guys in the next Aeronautica experience. Um, if we don't find any more tonight, then um, probably Ben won't be with me because Ben's working crazy hours. But um, hopefully we get some more tonight. Absolutely. That way we could get you know more done. And it's a lot. Of, this camera's heavy. Ben can vouch. This camera is so heavy. It's a beast. <laughs> yeah. It's a beast. But the quality's <laughs> great. So, all right, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. All right. Well... Ben just thought of something brilliant because um, we were messing with this phone. Now, here's the thing. This iPhone uh, that I found in the damn school with Chris, um, I've been holding on to it for a while now. I was in a live stream. I was and I had thousands of people trying to help me crack the code on this. I, I checked all the comments. I'm at a point right now if I mess up, I think I'm at like an hour of where the phone's disabled. It keeps just disabling, keeps disabling it. Mm -hmm. I brought the phone to Best Buy so they could do the because Best Buy has an ability where they'd be able to factory reset a phone as long as um, you can confirm it's yours. But I used to work at Best Buy, so they vouched for me. They're like, oh, yeah, that's definitely just Jazz's phone when it's clearly not. They were just trying to help me out. But in a sense, it wouldn't do anything because there was a lock on it because I kept forgetting the password. So they couldn't even help me even after I paid hundreds of dollars because that's how much you have to pay to Geek Squad for, to do this type of shit. Um, so Ben just came up with a crazy idea. And he said, what if the password, because Ben watches my videos, he said, what if the password is the code from that one uh, tape that you found in the school? So for those that don't watch in part two, and I highly recommend you watch part two before you watch this video or else this probably doesn't make too much sense. But in part two, uh, Chris and I were locked in this damn school, this abandoned, I don't even know what it was. We were surrounded by a group of people. It was, it was horrible. We were locked in a room and we found this. I still have it in here. Here's my other camera. It's this. No, it's not that. Oh shit, I don't have it with me. Oh, frick. Well, what I could do is I go my video. Because it wasn't my video. So. Damn, I thought I brought it. I said I was gonna hold on to it just in case, but it might be in my other bag. Okay, um, I like four phones in my pocket. Okay, so let me go back. And I didn't know, but Ben confirmed this for me, 
that you could have a passcode on an iPhone that's longer than four or six digit codes. I did not know that actually. And I actually, <laughs> I worked at Apple for like two years. <laughs> so that shows you how good of an employee I was though, to say the least. All right, so in the video. Um, somewhere in here. Yeah, so. <laughs> there's in this room. That'd be the most quiet one in the whole time. Look at the door. Yeah. Yo. I think it was before. We, um, we are literally watching someone's marriage video. Yeah. And we watched them at like, what if that was like their honeymoon at the beginning? Well, no, it doesn't yeah, go in that right. order. Yeah, it's a tape. Sorry. In my time, we don't have to do that. Yes, I do like my own videos. Mind your business. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. First of all, look at this picture, by the way. Oh my god. There's a bunch of numbers that pop up. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Give That's me a wild. fucking hug. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let's not celebrate too much. All right, all right. Okay, first off, I, I was also wondering what the hell is Caseify? Caseify. Because, like, this case just has, like, like shipping labels and fragile on it and then a QR code as well. But we're in. We are. Find my iPhone is the first thing that I see. Um, oh my god, first off, look at the background picture now. Oh my god. Um, okay, okay, here's the thing. A lot of people commented that. A lot of people, just like you commented that. Mm -hmm. But my dumbass was like, I don't know why. It's just in my head, I was like, yo, you could only put four digit pins or six digit pins on an iPhone. Right, right. Because that's what, that's what I thought. I'm just an. <laughs> I don't know. But okay, we're in, we're in. Right? That's all that matters. All right, I'm, we're greeted with photos, messages, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Google Maps, Spotify, Google, Southwest, Translate, Notes, Photo Vault. Oh, photo Vault. Oh. See, there's a. I doubt it's the same. I mean, I could try the same password. Try it. But usually I do 6969. That didn't Man. work. No. Okay, but we'll work on that. Yeah. Absolutely. Then I see find my iPhone. Voice memos. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I don't have Wi Fi. Let me see if I could connect to anything here quick. Oh. It's freezing. Mm -mm. All right, I'm doing something really stupid right now. I'm connecting to my hotspot. I don't ever recommend doing something like this ever, but for the sake of actually having Ben to help me out tonight and like being in the place right, I'm, that's why I'm doing this. Wouldn't be here doing this without Ben, so. Okay, we're in. All right. It says common network name, low data mode, which is fine. Um, let me see if there's any messages. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of messages. And... Chiron. So, for those who don't know, I found a phone about a month and a half ago. I went to Staten Island, like four and a half hours, five hours away from home. And we found a phone that had a bunch of contacts named Chiron. Chiron one to like 30. And um, I'm seeing names right now. Okay, so we got messages here from MM. Chiron XV, Chiron IV, Stefan, Wifey, Regine K, and to whom it may concern. Uh, so I always struggle with that. S Steph, is it Stephen, Stefan, or Steven? I'm, I you I'm lost on all of that. I'm Stefan or Stephen. Stephen Stephen definitely so doesn't sound right. I oh, don't think Stephen. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be Stefan then, because Stephen Curry, right? Stephen. Steph Absolutely. Okay. There we go. Stephen, it is. Um, TikTok. They have a TikTok account, actually. All right. Yep, dancing videos. Look at their name. Ap Apophis. A-P-O-P-H-I-S. Apophis Apep. Following one person. It's me. Well, look at that. They actually follow me on TikTok. Thank you. Right. <laughs> YouTube. First thing that pulls up is my video from two years ago. Thanks, YouTube algorithm. That's really weird. All right. Um, they are subscribed to me with the bell on. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Spotify, Google Maps, Instagram, Instagram. 
Oh. Oh, we got 39 posts on this Instagram account. We got a whole bunch. Oh, wow. All right. I just kind of push notes. Locations, victims, and instructions. Locations. These are all addresses. 215 oh, wow. S Fort Harrison Ave, Clearwater, Florida. D Largo, Florida. Delmar, New York. That's pretty close to us. Delmar is like That's actually really two close. hours away yeah. or something. Collinsville, Connecticut, New York, New York, and then there's Washington, D.C. So there's locations on here for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure this was in the last phone. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's titled Victims with a whole bunch of coordinates. I have no idea where these coordinates lead to. You know what? Why don't I look one of them up? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to pull up maps. Okay. Um, all right, let's do this. You ready? Uh, four, I'll do one in the middle. Screw it. Three, eight, point one, nine. A lot of these are close together. Eight, three, eight, one, three, comma, negative 75, point four, eight, six, six, zero, two, six. All right. So this is one of the middle coordinates and it took me to Snow Hill, Maryland. Which is the Pokemoke Forest. The oh. Pokemoke Forest, yeah. Uh, the forest where basically a lot of this started. So, yep. Old Furnace Road. That's yeah, literally where the cemetery is. But the point was literally right here. Right in the middle of this weird sanctuary in the middle of the forest. Which stretches for like three hours long is how long it is. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't even imagine where the rest of these locations are. If you guys want to look them up yourselves, let me know. Help me out. Um yeah let's see what else. instructions uh one open spotify playlist two All text right. messages three put the piece of the puzzle together and four you have until the end of the year or else you will be next that's comfortable unless it's talking about the victims as i'm, I'm going to be next i don't like that so open spotify playlist okay i guess spotify listen to some music i guess uh oh yeah, yeah let's go click here It's by Apophis Apep. Apep. This guy has like accounts on everything. That's his name. Apop. Apophis Apep. That's a pretty cool name. That's yes, pretty sick. Yasko, I hate you, and you are going to die soon. I mean, the guy has great taste in music, but it's a little, <laughs> it's a little much. Ah, uh, yeah, I love it. Yasko, I hate you, and you are going to die soon. What are you thinking? It's creative. Someone went out of their way to make a Spotify playlist just to tell me that. I, they could have written it. They could have done anything. A lot they, of ways. They make a Spotify. That's. I'm just saying, like these people are clearly crazy, Ben. I mean, you've been seeing it from the videos, but now you're mm -hmm. seeing it firsthand. Like this. Yeah, it's different. I guess we could go to Instagram. Um, first picture we see here is <laughs> a Squid Games meme. Yep, Total Drama Island Squid Games. Uh, next up, we have this, where it says Apophis in the description. Okay. Then we have AE. It's like watercolors. That's, yeah, it's pretty kind of. That one's weird. 12. OE? Or A-E? O-E, I assume. O -E? O. Question mark, question mark. B. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what this Now, would you look at that? I mean, if you get... I have no idea. That doesn't even look like a different language. That just looks like... Some type of code. And then there's like a number at the bottom. Uh, oh, there's a video. Oh, that was nice.
Oh, good. I don't know. Something. Seconds left. This is different. It's uncomfortable. I could do it. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that down. Sorry, headphone users. Oh wow, that was graphic. Oh my god. I don't like this. These people are sick. For real. Absolutely sick. Uh, bro, this is literally, uh, oh my God. pretty sure that's where I was. Yeah. 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 This was the building from Staten Island. I'm telling you. Oh my God. That's the exact building. Hold on, bro. Oh, that's the... No, 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 no. These uploads, you don't understand this. These uploads are 23 hours ago. I've had this phone for almost a week now. That means that someone else is linked to this Instagram, whether on a different device or something, and they're uploading these photos. These photos are uploaded, literally, it says 23 hours ago. Oh my bridge. god. This is the, the building with the bridge. I was here alone at one point. I had night vision only. I was in, I was shitting bricks. There's a close-up image of it, 23 hours ago. Cropsy. I, I swear to god, this looks so familiar to me. Who's liking this? Who's that? Oh my god. Missing person, please help find. $5,000 reward. Uh, what is it? Same thing. Please help, missing person. $5,000 reward. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Missing girl 10. Child has diabetes. Diabetes and other problems. Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. I, I have been finding a lot of like criminals lately, mm -hmm. like serial killers, and it's always like mug shots and stuff. So, I mean, it looks like, it, it looks like it's all tying in. I mean, I don't know. I see National Geographic in the back. I can make oh. that out for sure. The, the yellow yeah, he square. he does. He looks familiar. I, just, I can't put it. it. He looks familiar too. Uh, yeah. Uh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Whoever we're dealing with is a psychopath. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's weird. Is that a home looks like? I can't even tell you. I can't even tell. Here, can I I yeah, here's This that. is driving me insane, I'm sorry. A sewer. Yeah. Bro, these uploads are nine hours ago. We're getting earlier and earlier now. Oh, What's a video? A video. No sound. Oh, this is also a video. There's no sound. Bro, that's weird. Someone else has access. I'm literally sharing an account at the moment with somebody. Literally, someone else has signed in. I wish there was a way for me to like see who else has signed into this account. There's this nine people that follow this account. What if these nine people are? I couldn't even tell you because they're all in different languages. Apophis a pep. That's the Instagram account. Apophis a pep. That name is everywhere. I've. Oh my gosh. It's me. Oh, yep. They follow me. They're getting likes. Getting They're getting likes just, right now. That's <laughs> I'm getting likes as we speak. That's wild. I can't even imagine what these messages go for. <sighs> Small rooms get stuffy. Also, I'm going for a walk to get the mail. Can you check Zeta Station for the host? Bluebird check the host at 0800, status is still green. I know you were worried about wasting another host, but as you can see, they're fine. We are not in the business of death. Remember, this is a good thing we're doing. 
Time sensitive, use channel three at designated time with that picture that we saw on Instagram. Oh, wow. Chimney smoke is black. A neighbor could use your help. Code Firestarter. And then question marks. Okay, that's some weird cryptic stuff. Cryptic as shit. Yeah, that's what no I'm idea. These people are insane. Uh, wifey, Regine K. Regine K. Regine says, listen, I'm aware that Ron is not among us anymore. His purpose was to help mankind. He helped... He left us his legacy, and we are free to use it and lead better lives. It is your choice if you wish to go free. Sincerely, Regine Kreisel. Mm. That's not the case at all, Regine. I just feel as if the organization has moved away from its true purpose. What the org is doing lately is almost inhumane. Cannot argue otherwise. We believe that each human has a reactive mind that responds to life's traumas, clouding the analytic mind and keeping us from experiencing reality. This is so weird. I understand, but I have been say, seeing less and less of that lately is all i'm saying we always have and will continue to bring man to total freedom and truth the essential tenets are these you are an immortal spiritual what the fuck? your experience extends well-being in a single lifetime and your capabilities are unlimited even if you're not presently realized furthermore man is basically good he is seeking to survive and his survival depends upon himself and his fellows and his attainment of brotherhood with the what? Some weird. <laughs> Literally what? Like Someone's preaching something. I'm sorry, Regine, but I want out. I no longer believe that the org is following these beliefs. Thank you for all you have given me and my family, but it is time for me to move on in my life. Remember, it is your choice to be free, but what happens after is beyond my power and I am not responsible. Take care. Um, excuse me, what do you mean? Why are you ta talking as if something bad is going to happen to me? Why would anything happen anyways? I'm simply just branching away. I cannot clarify. You have been warned. Your request has been granted and all of your belongings will be ready for pickup at Office 34B at 10.15 a.m. What? Okay, so what I'm understanding here is the person who owns this phone is like trying to exit this organization. Right. Because what they're doing is wrong. He sees yeah. that it's wrong or he, he's noticing that it's wrong. What she's trying to say is basically it's some spiritual out-of-body shit. And man is basically good, seeking to survive. It is your choice, but what happens after is beyond my power. That's literally like a subliminal threat. You yeah, know what I mean? That, yeah. That's a threat. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and check the rest of these messages. All right, so wifey. <clears throat> oh, gosh, okay. It didn't go well, Michaela. They're threatening us. Oh, gosh, what happened? Well, we had the argument at the Tampa building today, and they all flipped on me. Such bullshit. It's not fair what they're doing to these guys. It's inhumane. When I told them I refused to do it, they said they will regret it, just like Aaron V did. The fuck was that? I heard that too. All right, well, here's the thing. Aaron V, I shouldn't even have to explain this at this point, but Aaron V is someone, are they slowing down like that? Holy shit. Yeah, what was that? Okay. Um, I don't even have to explain, Aaron V. If you've been around on this channel, you know that I've been having a lot of things. So let me just read that again. When I told them I refused to do it, they said I will regret it just like Aaron V did. Then I told Regine that I wanted out, and she said what happens now is out of their reach or something like that. Wifey says, do you think maybe it's just scare tactics? No, Michaela. Remember what they did when Aaron left? They effed up that entire family. Turn them all on each other. I don't know how they did it, but they destroyed the relationship from brother to mother, brother to brother, brother to sister-in-law. I don't want anything to happen to us. I just wish my life could go back to normal. Bro, that makes a whole lot of sense now. Holy shit. So Ben, you might not understand, but mm -hmm. a couple of months ago, when we found this phone, we found out that there was this love triangle. Aaron and Andrew, they're brothers, and they were basically running the same girl. Oh, wow. That, all one right. was essentially <laughs> going to marry her. The other one was a brother of the one who was going to marry her. And they were doing all this. And literally, this just confirms that it seems like the organization did this somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they did it, but they destroyed the relationship from brother to mother, brother to brother, brother to sister-in-law. I don't want anything to happen to us. I wish my life could go back to normal. That's their family issues. First off, I would never cheat on you. Secondly, there's simply nothing they can do to ruin our family. I think that's a myth. Sounds like normal family issues. Most marriages end in divorces from what I heard, not ours. Relax and let's just plan what we're gonna do next. Okay, hun, sounds good. I'll see you soon, okay? Mc what? I'm
This is getting crazy. Michaela, one of the org's vehicles are behind me. It's almost been an hour, where are you? I didn't want to scare you, but if I'm being honest with you, I'm trying to get away from their car right now. Whose car? The C Org's car, the black BMW. Maybe it's just an ordinary person with a black BMW. I've been driving in one massive circle in the Tampa area. They're still behind me. They're keeping their distance. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm not making perfect sense. I'm using speech to text. I'm on the phone with police. What street are you on exactly? No hang up in capitals. Michaela, hang up right now. Tell them I was pranking you or something. Hang up. Why? Because if you tell the police, they're going to kill me or kill you. Please, Michaela, hang up. Holy shit. What did we just get ourselves into? Nothing good. Okay, okay, I hung up. Did you tell them anything? Because the black car backed off. Holy fuck. No, I said what you told me to do. All right, listen to me, Michaela. Go into the room. Go to the safe. The combination is 34-16-22. Take the ammo and load the shotgun from underneath the mattress, just in case. Pack everything you possibly can away from me. Okay, I will, but don't you think that you're just overthinking this? It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm two blocks away. We'll talk soon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is I've found multiple of these phones when I've done this. And right. usually what happens is there's a couple of text threads. Yeah. And it always seems like maybe whoever has like left this for us or whatever the fact is, they delete everything except what they want us to see. Mm -hmm. It's weird, right? So st now it's time for Stephen. Stefan. So, hey, Stefan, are you awake? The next day, yeah, I am now, what's up, dude? Listen, man, I'm in some trouble, I need your help. With what, what's going on? I left the Sea Org on, like SeaWorld? <laughs> on good terms or bad? Could you imagine SeaWorld? <laughs> no. Not, not, re not rehirable, honestly. No. <laughs> oh, really bad joke time. Um, on good terms or bad? I'd say neutral terms, but it doesn't seem too good at the moment. Sea Org, hold on, that does sound familiar. Like, like um, letter C? No, no, S E A Org, like Sea Org, like Water Org. Oh, okay. On good terms or bad, I'd say neutral terms, but it doesn't seem too good at the moment. Well, F, this ain't good. What should I do? I know you're probably not too happy with me either after everything, but I need your help. Yeah, you really sound like you need it. You and Michaela could spend some nights at my place until you figure out your next plan of action. We can try and plan some things. Seriously, man, thank you so much. When you're on the way here, make sure no one is following you. If someone follows you to my house, I'll kill you myself. Man, that's a weird friendship. That's, that's wild. What? The Chiron shit. Look at the messages of Chiron. Can we talk? I don't, it, none of them delivered. I don't agree with what this org is doing anymore. What you had us do last month was inhumane. I can't sleep at night thinking about what you almost made us do to them. Just sit and think about how crazy it is for a second. It's a effing joke. We're more than just Chiron in quotation marks. We're humans and it's time that we start getting treated like them. You're following someone's favorite movie script to try and distill more fear into them. Do you not see how psychotic that sounds? Snap the F out of it and let's see, let's try and convince the others to leave or rebel. We could take this shit over. There's so many of us, I'll text the others. Hey, my texts aren't going through, did you get a new phone? When I try calling you, it just rings forever and never goes to voicemail. That's weird as hell. Call me when you can. All of my messages aren't delivering, what the F? And it like, clearly this person has been talking to this person. Yeah. And the messages prior are not there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is like, maybe they really do delete everything except what they want us to see. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So next cheer on. Oh wow, look at this. It went from iMessage to text message. So listen to this. Test. Delivered. Okay. Irwin, are you there? Can we talk? Please do not contact me or any of the Chiron. We, you are not one of us. You have sinned and you will pay for your sins just like the boys. What the F are you talking about? Do you not realize how after this all is? Great. Did you block me to Jesus? Those last three messages did not get delivered. And the last one is MM. That's really weird. The conversation just starts with shadows. Shadows. What do you need? You know what I want. I want out. There has to be something I can do to get me out of this. We will meet at the same location to negotiate terms. I want all the current information you have on the subject. I'll take your burden and return to the hunt, but I can't promise your survival. Red Boss hates an unfinished job. You knew that when you signed up. Remind them that I've done everything I can. I just couldn't pull the trigger, but my loyalty to the boss doesn't change even in de death. 
I hope they can reconsider based on my loyalty in the past. Face your demise with some dignity. You know the boss carries disdain for the weak. Remember the same meeting spot, same time. And it just ends like that. And that's it for the messages. That was a mouthful and that is crazy. That is wild. And who knows if like, it's all there. Like you said, like, we don't even know if it's all there. We don't, we don't, we don't know what else is there. There's, I'm in the photos right now to see if there's anything in the photos. It's mostly the same pictures that were on Instagram. There's um a QR code. Oh boy. This could go bad. Here we go. <sighs> what Wait, the hell what? is this? 100% all natural bats, completely natural, 100% organically blood-fed bats. Bats. No preservatives, no cages, just bats. Do you need 100% organically fed, blood-raised natural bat for your business or pleasure? One in five Americans say yes. This is the place to get them. Do you think it's that one in five? I have a massive fear of bats. Really? Yes. And this stems back a couple of months ago, but like I was, I was in this abandoned building. I was absolutely shitting bricks because of bats. I'm, I don't know if like this is the case or anything, but. I love how it says at the bottom, it posts this one and says not actual size. Oh, at least we know. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know. They left an email to even check them. That's the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. Find my iPhone is on. I'm not clicking it. I'm not doing no. it. I, I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here. That's crazy. When I load translate mm -hmm. the app, it's set to English to Spanish. And I've been finding notes in Spanish, Ben. Oh. Put the pieces to the puzzle together. I'm reading the notes. Put the pieces to the puzzle together or you have until the end of the year or else you'll be next. Yeah, that's probably the worst. Uh, the worst of the news there. This is fucking sick. Like th this is beyond. This is, these are actual threats being made mm -hmm. to me. Like making a Spotify playlist saying that I'm going to die soon, saying that I'm, this is gonna happen. This is mm -hmm. gonna happen. Like hear me out, Ben. I'm dead serious. We need to hey, hand this phone in. I think you're right. After the first couple apps, I was like, oh my god, we this this ain't us. This isn't for us. Uh, I think the a couple of things definitely made me consider it but then the text messages Ab solidified. The end, yeah, yeah. solidified absolutely um, i'm gonna be honest with the police officers they they t don't tend to take me seriously from time to time when you, police officers hear youtubing or anything to do with cameras and stuff they just don't tend to take it seriously so with all that being said i i honestly i'm like oh see That's the scary part of all this. We found a phone a month and a half ago. Like, Ben, this isn't just a cheap phone. This is an iPhone 12. This is a this is a thousand dollar phone that they just mm -hmm. leave behind for us to find, and then we keep discarding them. You know what we do with these phones? What? We we bring them to Best Buy and we elect the electric. Uh, Electrical, the what's it called? When you when you throw away electronics. Oh, the recycling program. They yeah, have. they have they have a recycling program where you throw away electronics. We mm -hmm. do that because they I don't know what they do, but they destroy the devices. Mm -hmm. So like they cannot be traced, they cannot nothing. They destroy them. So that's what I've been doing. But like, do you know how like stupid of resources that is? Like thousand dollar oh, phones yeah. over and over and over again. I mean, like a paper and a pencil could do the same. I mean, sheesh. <laughs> What do you want to do now? You want to go right to that, or this feels I, I messed know. up? Like, what else do we do in that situation? Exactly. Like, realistically, though, let's sit and think. What could the police do about this? If it's out of their jurisdiction, right? Mm -hmm. If we go to, like, let's just say the town we're in right now for their police department, and let's just say something happened, the, the coordinates were it said victims in Snow Hill, Maryland. Right. right? Yeah. That's out of their jurisdiction, mm -hmm. right? Will they be willing to reach out to Snow Hill, Maryland, and see what they can do, or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know either. But we can't do anything about it. You're right. I'm, it, there's no point sitting here. Mm -hmm. We have to go figure this out. I'll keep you guys updated when we get to the police department. I don't know if I'll record it. I don't. But like I said, I want them to actually take me seriously. So. See you guys in a bit. <sighs> okay, well, um, update. I met here with the sheriff. And um, they took the phone inside. And they said they will actually, like... I explained everything, you know, I explained, like, listen, the thing is, when I usually mention YouTube, it kind of, like, just goes through one ear out the other, but, like, they were glued, and it, it was awesome, it was, it was awesome for them to listen to what I had to say, um, I really hope that whatever they can do with this, they, you know, update me ASAP on, I hope that, you know, they figure something out, but it's no longer in my hands, it's in their hands, um, I'm just waiting back, um, he's just gonna give me a little paper that I have to sign, and, um, Although, like, the shit on there is absolutely crazy, it does mention me and all the sorts and stuff like that, uh, clearly. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my chest, knowing that I'm actually being taken seriously. And I think that that's what matters here. So, I'm out of here now, guys. Um, yeah. Good night. Um, okay, <laughs> maybe not, I don't know if you can hear those sirens or not, but um, I'm here at my next random nautica point, and I don't know, I'm, if you don't see it behind me, there's a big old building, it's clearly abandoned, there's graffiti all over it, and um, I just pulled up and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go check this place out, my intent is terrifying. <laughs> I picked this intent for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I'm alone too, so that doesn't help my case much at all. But um, we're gonna go ahead in there, and we're gonna go see um, what's so terrifying about this place. Um, since it's getting dark right now, I'm gonna try to keep this at a minimum 30 minutes. I thought I just heard somebody. I don't know. But like, this place is absolutely massive. Like, huge. And like to get here, I had to go up this crazy long road <laughs> and I, I didn't know if this was abandoned or not. I just pulled up and um, I realized I was at a house, had a massive parking lot and um, I was like, all right, cool. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, I'm doing this alone, guys. So if you can, please smash that like button. Greatly appreciate it. And um, I guess a very, very big question that I get asked a lot lately, I explained in my live stream, but it's like, why am I alone right now? And Chris and decided that, oh my God, this place is beautiful. Chris has decided that it's time for him to chase his own dreams and do things that he wants. So for the meantime, he's gonna be filming with CJ and he's gonna be doing all sorts of things, but I'm not gonna slow down content. I'm gonna be continuously filming crazy shit like always, every three to four days, you know, a new video is coming. So with all that being said, guys, smash that like button because <laughs> this is crazy. But um, yeah, take a look at this place. Wow. I hear sirens. Bro, is that people? Hold on, I'm gonna keep the camera low right now. Oh shit. Is coming from over here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, I'm hearing all sorts of noises. I'm pretty sure that was talking because there's a truck right there. Oh shit. Let me just sit it out and see if, like, maybe they're just explorers too. I don't know, but let me just sit it out really quick gonna kind of just chill over here act as if I'm like taking pictures or kind of thing so um, for the meantime let me actually take some pictures actually for the meantime I might take a picture of the license plate just to be safe so go ahead and zoom in
Yeah, right now. I don't know if, even if I can see the license plate. Oh no, I can see it perfectly. K X Y numbers are there. Cool. Let me go inside the building for just a little bit. This may be a horrible decision, but you know what? That's what this is all about. So, and the door's wide open. So, cool. I just wanted to scope this place out before I even decide if I want to do this. I wanted to go see if the doors are open, and the doors are literally wide open. So, take a look at that. It's getting dark. Let me pop this bad boy on. Oh, gosh. Wow, bro. This place is insane. Absolutely insane. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, I'm heading back to the car. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit. Destroying shit. There's multiple of them. It's like, it's like a group of them over there. I have a lot of copper, dude. This is fucking heavy. Oh shit. This is heavy. <laughs> So, they're definitely stealing scrap, and um, if they're willing to do something as illegal as that, because I'm pretty sure that's illegal, um, what they're probably doing is they're taking the scrap and then selling it for money, <laughs> and I'm alone right now, and they probably don't want me to like snitch them out just in case I, if I'd call the cops, or I wouldn't do that, but um, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to go come back. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me put my camera down. <laughs> Also bear with me for the time being until I find somebody else to film with me. And actually, if you are in the upstate New York area and you would like to film with me, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, holy shit, okay. They're still there. I don't know what they're doing. They're clearly like, the thing is like, if they're willing to do something as illegal as um, steal scrap and sell it, for example, they're probably, don't give a shit about me and they'll probably harm me in some type of way and I don't want that obviously. So I'm gonna go leave for a little bit, come back up here in like a half hour or so. Yeah, you could just hear them destroying shit in the back. Okay, so I was right. I just didn't know if that was like the road over there because there was a main road up there. Holy shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm shaking a little bit so intent terrifying kind of is checking out but yeah, they're screaming and shit. I'm gonna, my car keeps doing this dumb shit. There we go. All right. Um. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Y'all heard that? He literally just screamed, you better watch out, bud. I don't know if he's talking to me. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit, guys. Stay tuned. Peace. 
Okay, everybody, so I am back here. I'm actually parked in the parking lot area that I showed you on the map. Um, it's about an hour and a half later. Um, when I came back here, that truck was still here, so I left again. I came back, they're gone now. So, I, at least when I checked, they were gone. I don't know if they moved the car somewhere or whatever, but I don't hear anything, I don't hear anybody. So, the plan is, is to go straight through the front, check this place out, and um, I know what you guys are thinking. Why the hell are you doing this alone? Why the hell are you doing this at night? Guys, I have to. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I'm here to provide you guys content. And um, I'm a little bit more comfortable doing it. I wouldn't really say comfortable, but I feel okay doing so because I'm actually armed this time. I'm, uh, For what it's worth, I'm going to protect myself no matter what, especially being alone. Um, until I find somebody to come with me. So. With all that being said, you ready? Intent terrifying. What could possibly go wrong, huh guys? <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, I'm gonna be switching from this camera and my night vision camera because I'll be able to see more of my night vision camera. Ah, uh, yeah. So, there is another road here. It's like a dirt road, I guess, but... And I'm sorry if the camera isn't the most stable and it's not, you know, but we're gonna make it work. It's a new chapter. Let's go ahead. Here we go. Change my camera around. Ooh. Okay. This place is crazy, bro. Oh, it literally says die. Right there. That's a very, very good way to start this. Very, very nice. But okay. Let us continue. I noticed that this place is kind of like destroyed. Like there's tons of garbage outside and tons of just, look at this, all this debris right here. Garbage bags upon garbage bags and yeah, see, my truck is no longer here. So that's a plus for what it's worth. Okay. Here we go. What the hell was that? Hello? I thought I heard footprints. Oh look! A twisted tea can! Sick! Oh yeah, this place is absolutely just destroyed. Like, literally crazy destroyed. Wild. Oh, there's a basement too? Okay, so considering those people were here earlier, it's not like unlikely that people do come here. I mean, just like look at the place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me actually turn the brightness on this bad boy up. Uh, so it's not unlikely. Uh, we got an Aquafina. Oh, a Rice Krispies treat. How'd they know? <laughs> it's like they knew I was coming. Actually, if that's the case, that's terrifying. Uh, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look down this basement. Holy cow. What is that? Hold on, shh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's people here. In we go. What the fuck? This is not good, boys and girls. All right, let's go wait this out a little bit. Um. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. This is not good. Um, I don't know if they're below me. It sounds like they're below me. This is wild. <laughs> it's a lot scarier when you're alone.
I'm just trying to make light of the situation. Maybe they're cool people, I don't know, but I don't wanna... I'm literally in the middle of nowhere on a road that's like super duper long. Like, God forbid anything happens to me. Who knows like what'll happen to me, so. I'm gonna play this safe. Um, let's go take a look. There's so much glass on the floor, I'm sorry. the opposite way. This place is massive. Holy shit. The fuck was that? Oh shit. This isn't a way out. What the f you guys know what that sound is. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know what that fucking sound is. Literally yesterday. We went through that damn iPhone. We found another iPhone. I don't know if it's gonna be in this video. I don't know if it's gonna be in the next video, but we found that iPhone. All I'm saying is like these damn phones that we're finding and those, that damn ringtone is scary shit ever. Clearly I'm not alone, so I don't know what to do. I might just bounce. I literally might just leave right now. What's that? It's a little box. Okay. as a raccoon with an iPhone. Bro, look at this. Exercise area, sauna, we're Alright, so it's been a long time. It's been about 20 minutes. I was sitting under this cubby, literally, it was it was awful. But whoever was in here walked out. There's a group of them. They just walked right out that front door, the one that I came in, and they left. Um, only thing is my car's out there, but um, I'm gonna avoid confrontation for the time being. I kinda wanna just show you this map that I found. Look at this. Let me pick up the camera, show you. Ugh. So look at this, right here, sauna. It says cameras here, cameras in here, and it's pointing in like, it has arrows in every corner of the room. 
Then it says Whirlpool, which I'm assuming is like a hot tub. And it says cameras in here. One in that corner, one in that corner, one in that corner. There's nothing in like the exercise area or anything. But then look at this. Ladies locker room. Cameras in here. In the ladies locker room, bro. One in there, one in there, one in there, one in there. Nothing in the men's room. But like, do you not see how crazy this is? They have cameras in the ladies room, cameras in the whirlpool, and then cameras in the sauna. Do you not see how crazy that is? Oh shit. Cameras to be removed every 24 hours. Replace with new empty files. See, Algoin. Oh my god, it's a different language. That says John. <laughs> so, I know that means Las Camaras is the cameras. Um, if you guys don't mind translating that for me <laughs> down in the comments, I'd appreciate it. I'll hurt your comment and stuff. I just clearly, um, I'm currently with one hand in my camera, so. I found that in that box. I'm gonna nicely put it back. God knows how long that's there. It's, it's very odd that like it just went missing. That was you know sitting there for a while. So, cool. All set. Okay. Well, wait a second. Actually, would this be the woman's restroom then? If that was like a floor plan of this place, would this be the woman's restroom? I see like pink walls, pinkish maroon walls. That could be the woman's bathroom. So if that's the case, where would the cameras be? I don't know. I do see holes in the ceiling. So I, I, I don't really like the feel of this place at all. I'll be real. At all. <laughs> like at all. So um, see what else you got going on here. And there's the boys' room. Holy shit. I'm assuming because it's blue, right? What the hell is this? Targus. That's like a camera bag. Oh my gosh, there's so much glass. I might be dealing with another camera. Hold on. Well, that's oddly clean, like clean as day. Oh shit, bro, bullets. There's legit bullets in here. These are nine millimeter rounds, Lugers. Couple of those, and we have a couple of these. Um, I have no idea what these are, but got these bullets in here. It's crazy. They're used bullets, I think, but let me go ahead and read this. Oh. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Tell me I heard that, please. For the love of God, I'm not going crazy, right? I'm legit shaking right now. There's no fucking way this is happening right now. Oh my gosh, this place is a disaster. Ah, there's... Okay, let me just, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I hear someone coming, I hear someone coming. Uh...
I'm keeping the camera here, so if someone comes in, I'll take my weapon out, and it's over. Shit, I hear footsteps, I hear footsteps. Shh, shh, shh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. There's a car outside. Ah. Yo, it smells really bad. What the fuck was that? There's a car running outside. It might be that same truck from earlier, I swear to fucking God. It sounds like a diesel truck. I don't know if like they're fucking with me or whatever. I don't know what's going on. Literally, what the f Literally, what the f is going on? Oh. What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? Literally, what the f oh. I'm just gonna be trying to be quiet for like a minute, okay? Okay guys, so it has been a long time. Uh, I'm checking my clock right now. It's been almost an hour, near an hour. Um, I put the camera in my bag and I, um, I just listened. I just listened and listened. And um, I started heading back up the stairs and I heard that truck and doors close and they just took off they were revving their engines and all this type of shit so what i'm just thinking is maybe these people are just some i don't know assholes but i mean it's clear to see like people who do come here are like literally destroying the place from i mean there's all the walls are like destroyed here 
you can walk from room to room strictly like through holes in the wall like it's crazy so the thing is like when I was back upstairs, I found a bunch of firecrackers on the floor, like little red firecrackers with the tip on top, like little little dynamite thingies. I think that's what they use in the bathroom to scare the shit out of me. I think they literally just want to scare the shit out of me, and that's it. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping the case for. Um, I shared my location with my girlfriend, so my girlfriend knows where I'm at right now. I'm still alone, still scared shitless, but at the end of the day, I'm here, and um, hours away from home, so I'm gonna keep pushing. Um, as far as this goes, Figured there's no better time than now than to. So on the front right here, it says, A birthday love letter to my incredible wife. Every day, sometimes in big ways and sometimes small, I see how incredible you are. How much love you have in your heart and how deeply you care about me and our life together. Uh, happy birthday with love, Michaela, I love you. So that's what it says right there. Michaela, I love you. Oh, if you're reading this, the red boss finally got to me. I am sorry, but you need to know that they will come for you next. Remember, the place I told you to go to if they come, go there now. I love you so much, and I'm sorry I got you wrapped up in all of this. For now and ever, for now and forever, your love. Okay, a couple things to take away from this, uh, to say the least, is um, I told you... So clearly this is like a last, this is like a, I don't even know what I'm reading here. I'm, I'm trying to like put the pieces together and it's just not making sense. Clearly whoever wrote this is trying to get this to their wife, their, well clearly their wife, but their significant other if you will. And um, they're trying to tell them to go to the spot that they told, told you to go if they come, go there now. I love you so much. I'm sorry. You got, I'm sorry you got wrapped in all this. I don't know what that means, but for now and forever, your love. So clearly, we're dealing with some type of um. I don't know. There could be a cheater. There could be a like. Let's just say the husband uh, borrowed some money, and then he owed a lot of money, and then he like did a lot of sketchy shit to try to get that money back because he owed all these. That's literally the plot of Squid Games. Oh my gosh. All right. Well. I'm leaving that there. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to recycle this because I'll at least take care of this planet, unlike these people. And, um, yeah, I, I've been sitting here for a while. haven't heard jack shit. haven't heard any sounds, nothing like that. I mean, for a while, I was hearing, like, the ringtone. The, the, I don't even know what that ringtone is. It's like, ding, ding, ding. I was hearing that. I was hearing that. I feel, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable right now. Um, I have got what I need in here, and uh, here we are. So I'm, I don't know what part of the basement I'm in right now. I don't even know if I'm in the basement, because like you can exit this way. Let me show you. It's crazy. Let me know what y'all think about that uh, letter from the husband or the hubby to the, um, to Michaela in that, uh, like it's like a birthday card. Oh, what the hell? Is this like a terrace or something? Oh, delightful. Um, there's a lot of rubble out here, a lot of garbage. Holy cow. People really tore this place up, man. Now look at that view, though. Wow. Sick. All right. Well, I got to figure out a way out back to the car now. Um, I think my intent of terrifying definitely checks out. I'll check out some things on the way out, but... um. Yeah, just want to pull out the camera again, um, let you know, I wanted to, like I said, when I w was heading upstairs and I heard the car, they were like revving their engines like crazy, like they were just flooring it, flooring it, flooring it, it was probably like a neutral or park at the time, and then eventually put in drive and they just got the hell out of here, like I said, it's a really long road to get to this building, <laughs> so I don't know what the hell's going on, bro, I really don't, but, um, all in all, came back down here to chill for a little bit just in case someone's still messing with me. I don't know. Playing my cards right, all right? I'm alone. It's a little different. I'm not used to all this shit, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to like... What the f*** is that? Hello?
That like might be a rat. That sounds like something like in the vents or the walls or some shit. Please tell me you guys hear that. Just saying, if I see a rat or something, I'm pooping my pants. Oh. What was this area for? Locked. Well. Oh! Morgan Stanley! How'd he do? Sue's energy resources. Oh, my days. Oh. Look at these. Oh. Shows, man. Oh. This is for bowling? That's sick. That's so cool. That is so sick. Look at all these clothes in here. A thingy majing. A brick. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, damn. There's a shipping label on there. I'm trying to read that. Oh, ew, no. Oh, I didn't touch that. So this guy's guest locker. Oh, fuck me, dude. What? Oh. R. Cassell. And then we got that bad boy in there. Um. Oh, I was trying to grab it from the bottom, but I guess that works. Um, this is kind of a confined space, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm hearing some shit above me, like a little rodent. I don't want it to fall on me, so. I don't want anything to touch my head. That's what he said, in a sense. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Wait, so is this like the bowling alley? There's like no room for it though. But I wouldn't be surprised with the, how, look at these walls, bro. Like this is probably the shit we were hearing all night, just people destroying this for whatever reason. I People are different, <laughs> absolutely different. I told my girlfriend if I don't answer in the next 45 minutes to please call the cops and send them to my location. I'll take the trespassing charge. That's fine, but... Uh, oh, this is from Radio Shack. Oh my gosh, who remembers Radio Shack? <laughs> so cool. All right. Um, it's one of these uh, cassette recorders. Um, if you guys have been watching this channel, then you know that um, we've been finding quite a lot of these. And... Yeah, here, let me just do this. I gotta lift my camera up just a tad bit. There you go. Oh! Oh my gosh, my camera almost went for a swim. All right, hope that's a little bit better. I'm sorry, like I said, guys, <laughs> just for a little bit until I find somebody to help me. Um, here we go. Okay, okay, yo, you heard that, right? Delta Project. That These are the same exact tapes that I've been... F Holy shit. I found a couple of them with Chris back when he filmed with me, but like this is the same shit. Delta Project. Bro, we've been finding the craziest tapes. You guys have been putting like... I've been asking for you guys' opinions on all this. You guys have been saying the most wild shit, so let's really listen to this. Holy fuck. Eight, seven, four, two, Hold on, let me rewind just a little bit.
I can't do baby stuff. I, I can't do baby stuff. I can't do baby stuff. I can't do baby stuff. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Oh no. What does that sound? What does that sound like? What's going on? I, I don't know if this is. And this is gonna copyright my damn video. Beautiful. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can confirm it is not twinkle, twinkle, little star. Um... like mixtape <laughs> like what are we doing now hello I thought I heard something I'm not sure hello Freaking myself out at this point. It's paranoia. When you're alone, you, you think that you hear things and you think that you see things, but in reality, it's just your own mind. Like that's what's scary about the mind. Like you, you, you. It's also 
scare me to think that there's bullets in this place. Used bullets in this place. Oh, I didn't even put that together until now, so... I really have no idea what to do right now. Should I fast forward a little bit? Was that it? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Oh no. I gotta figure something out quick, hold on. I'm not alone right now, I'm not alone.